Yana, I am Elin Reese, and yes, you're in Gompa City, Nimba County, with another legendary Liberian artist. And I will better introduce him when I get back from this short break. You know how we do it. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. And like I said, I am still here in Gompa City, Nimba County, with another legendary musician. Goes by the music name. Morris King, how are you? I'm okay. Oh, I love yeah. your attire. Thank you, thank you. No, yeah, I love the way you so you way back and we decided to do this um, interview in the studio that you record some of your songs, right? Yeah, you're right. So how Gompa City, how how is yeah, Gompa is okay, we are cool here, we love everybody, we welcome everybody. So you are highly welcome. Feel free, feel at home. All right, I hope you get TV for me after. Oh, that's a good day. All right, so yeah. um, Morris, can you tell tell me who Morris is? Like, what's your full name? Okay, thank you. Uh, the name Morris um, is a music name, but my real name, my, my biological name is Morris Nakama Bader. I'm from District 5 here in Nima, mm -hmm. and I've decided to um, impact our people with traditional music. Okay, and um, the name, your last name, I'm pretty sure other than the Morris, Morris. your middle name and your last name, you got some kind of traditional meaning or yeah. English meaning, right? Yeah. Can you tell me what the middle and the last name mean? Okay, so Nakama is in the sense where a woman is in search of a child, like a woman who um, who not born from the young age mm -hmm. up to the early age, and then God bless her with a child. So that name goes that way. Nakama many children, where are you people? Okay. So, so it's a joyous name to receive a child in your first time, your first, I mean, the first time in your life. So you name the child Nakama, and then where there is another child has entered. Okay. So you have the first one, second one, yeah. then. Another one, so you see, another child has That's entered. Mm -hmm. So that is the meaning of bad. Oh, nice. All right, so let's talk about your music. Um, when did you start doing music and why? Well, I started 2006. Let me see. I started recording 2006. Mm -hmm. But I started music when I was very little. From, from seven years, I started to do it. I started to sing from seven years. So I joined music because, um, number one, to uh, disseminate the good news yeah. of Jesus Christ through music. And then uh, the second one is, uh, it's just my passion. I saw my mother doing it, okay. and they gave a pass over to me. I decided to do it. Okay, so you talk about disseminating um, the message of Jesus. So the <laughs> traditional music you make is it gospel? Gospel. All right. And what was your first music you made? The first song was Zuyana. And the second one was Zinoa. Okay, and what are the meaning of those songs? Okay, so Zuyana meaning I've been saved by the Holy Spirit. Okay. I've been redeemed by the Holy Spirit. And Zinoa is a is a parable. A Christian who is not actually a Christian, yeah. but he is half and half. Half Christian, half Muslim, half pagan and half of the world. So when I say the Muslim people are moving, he was, you will see him there. The Christians are going, you will see him there. So you have to be of a specific color that the people people will know you by. If you are a Christian, be Christian. If you are not, let people know.
message. Yeah. So how's your creative process like? How do you get your inspiration to write your song? Okay, yeah. Um, for me, I do not practice. I do not have a practice room or a practice ground where I will have a specific time to sit down to practice. No. Okay. I get my inspiration anywhere at any time. Once it enters my head, I jack it down on the phone or on the paper, and then I started to write on it. So that is how sometimes I come, I mean, come about writing my song and doing my, I mean, creation. So when I'm working, when I'm working, even if I'm eating, when I'm sleeping, anytime I can have something, if I can have a topic, yeah, I can have a topic and then I will start to develop it. So that's. Yes, so, okay, that's that's great. Um, we in the studio, and Elio, you mentioned that you do some of your recordings here. Mm -hmm. How many songs have you recorded in the studio? Okay, Studio Sony Nine has been working for me so far. This guy did a video for me, a tribute song video, mm -hmm. and then he also did a song for me when the district lead this this county district lead was going on last year. Yeah, so um, we did a song here, and then and that was it. I think he has done three different songs for me, one video. Also, yeah. he's, a, he's a music producer? Yeah. And he, he also a video producer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's this, um, there's a trending song, Nimba Unite. Um, how did you get inspiration from that, for that song? And why did you decide to like put out a song called Nimba Unite? Okay, so the ascendancy of the Fifth legislation actually bring out um, confusion and uh, tribalism and fight among our leaders, especially the uh, the county hierarchy. I mean, there were there were misunderstanding and then a lot of things. So. People try to settle in various ways they could not. So one thing I can tell people, music is life. Music is um, is a kind of thing that people use in many cultures to even to even deceive in this song. Useful information to put in, a quick to grab. A quick to teach people through music and other things. So I decided. By the help, help of the Holy Spirit, I decided to come up with this song. Yago Nima, Yasi, meaning we are one. Anything from Nima, it cannot spoil. Yeah. So somebody was joking sometimes ago, he said, even if our GB can spend one more, you can still swallow, swallow it. We'll still swallow so <laughs> that is just it. So I told the people, I mean, we are unique people here in this uh, county. We have a distinct culture. So Nothing like power or position or wealth or some of those things you guys are counting on should be the cause of our of our problem in this country. So nothing from here that have to spoil. Everything from here, Nima is have to. I mean, is good. So let us join our hands together and see how best we can look at Nima instead of looking at our individual benefits.
music in the popularity? Where do you think your music is most played? Is it like Liberia, Africans? How wide is your um, the range of your music? Hmm. Both Africans and Liberia. Just quite recent time, the uh, the first of July, we had a very big concert in Abidjan, Yopougon. Yeah, I have a friend over there, a music colleague over there by the name of Ange Dedagbe. He and I collaborated and put out a very huge um, uh, launching over there where, I mean, we really, really touch our people again musically. And both in Africa and Liberia. But, you know, I started here. So my music is mostly consumed here in Liberia than that of Africa. All right, and since you started your music, how has the, the feedback been from Liberians? Are they welcoming to it? Do you go around and hear your music play? They welcome us. Let me tell you, I'm the only longest hit artist yeah. in Nima. You, you can since check. You started. Yeah, you can check and do your survey, do your inquiry. I am the longest hit traditional artist. Yeah, other people came before me but they they have gone not because of uh, they are not too important but i think they do not actually put their time into what they want to do so some do it for short some decide to do it for a short period of time and so on but 2006 i started to hit the vocal in the studio and from 2006 up to today i still have hit eight songs the society can tell. My play, my song is played everywhere in Nima, it's played everywhere in Monrovia and other part of the country where you have me, mostly where you have me buying. Yeah. So in even the US and other part of the world where you have me buying. So that is it. I mean the same thing in Africa, our songs are everywhere and then All right, so tell me about the first song that you made that ever hit. That when you said that you're like, okay, I really, I really did this song, and you really hit it, people really received it really well. Slow me no, can't you tell me I got a zino? Zino, 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 zino. Maybe I got a zino, I got a zino. That was the first song. I will not, yeah, thank you. I will not forget this song because uh, this song actually brought me up, and this song is still meeting me. The song brought me up and still meeting me. People still refer to me as Zinova. That's my other name. Yeah, other people call Zinova, Zinova. Yeah. So that is the the very first song. I mean, the second song. My first song was Zuyana, but they were on the same track. Yeah. So the first one was Zuyana, and next year when the studio I produced Zinova, but Zinova stood very tall. Yeah. As we speak, it's still uh, in the society. People still love it. All right. That that's nice. So you know, you sing most of your songs in your dialect, and also you put some, you put some colloquial in it. Yeah, sing, I sing. Uh, Eighty-five percent of my songs in our dialect. Yeah, just fifteen percent. Sometimes, yeah. And which dialect is that? Gyo, which we call the Da. Yeah. So when you when you sing in the Gyo, what what do you think is the importance or the, what are the importance of um, singing in your local? Dialect. Okay, thank you. Um, I said today, music has impact. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, music has impact, but especially traditional music that is sunk in the local tune of your people. Okay, um, I will take you a bit by when it, uh, when it comes to our travel war here, when the war started, between the crown and the guild. Yeah. I mean, there was a music that pushed the people of Nima to doing what it did here in 1990, which is, uh, Nima, Nima, Nima can't take a Nima, your camp, where are you people? We will sit in our own country like we eat crazy. So Nima, Nima men, where are you? So this song was done by the late Harry Kona when Nima men heard this song in our own dialect, they said, no, we can't wait to see our, com our country being destroyed. So it better we stand for the cause. If we die, we die for the cause. I just try to say something so that 
I mean, you will know how important is it to sing in your diary. Yeah. Your diary, when you sing in your diary, it teaches people very fast, more than the English. Not everybody, if you check the society here in Nima, I will not say 60%, out of 40% or 35% of the total population in Nima who are educated. Yeah. But the rest of the people are our native people. They do not go to school. So they lack our local songs even more than the one we sing in English. They can relate to it more. It's more related. Most time when I do song, English song, and you'll see my friends getting by to me, oh, Maurice, we'll let you to do more of our songs in our dialect. Instead, of, I told the English is good, but we want you to do more of our songs in our dialect because they understand what I will say and then they quickly teach them, they change some things around and they get our course going smoothly. All right, great. Yeah. yeah. This is very educative, especially yeah. <laughs> for me as well. But yeah. we'll just take a very short break and as soon as we get back, we'll dive more into it and then wrap things up. Okay. Aranja Erone, Don Mama Beat, for information purposes. The Richard Gaston, from Video Cornerstone. Nevertheless, the king. City Nimba County with one of Liberia's legendary um, traditional singers, Morris King. So, um, Morris, tell me about, let's say, a dream collaboration you would love to have. Which artists would you like to collaborate with? Well, um, outside of Liberia, here in Liberia, okay. Outside in Liberia. Yeah, as our Liberia, there in Africa, there's a guy that I love, I love all of the songs. They call Honest Mala. Yeah, he did a song. Yeah, yeah, That guy is inspirational. I love his songs, I love his tune, and I love to be around him. But uh, he's there in Africa. When I tried to get him, I got another person yeah. who I just mentioned earlier, uh, yeah. Dilabwe Ansh. But I will still try to get him. You still try to get him? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you still that. collaborate as long as um, you have a personal belief, you can sing about life, you can sing about God. Yeah. <laughs> so, but here in Liberia, I have a big papa that, uh, that brought me up. Uh, this guy is MC Pakulo, MC Madonna Pakulo. Yeah, he did a Jesus gene the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the son of Ela, Ela, the son of. So he did that song, and he did a lot of songs. So he is my big papa. He's the one that I actually uh, learn from. And that is that. All right. Uh, I know everything people do, there are challenges. There must be challenges that you face. What are some of the challenges that you've been facing so far in your music career? Well, a lot of them. A lot of challenges we have here. Um, the most one is uh, the piracy issue in this country. Music is not restricted. So, you hearing music playing right now out there. That guy who is playing that music is not just playing it for playing his sake. Yeah. He's making business. So, 
People use our gift to make business, to make money. We're all giving your money. We do not even know how it start and how it will end. So that's how things are happening here with us. Music is not control. One thing I really pray for to see happening in this country is to bring our music under control where musicians will, sus will sustain themselves from their gifts so that we will not just sing the song for singing sake and then we sing it and we send it out then people take it and carry it into their music transfer shop or whatever and then make money from there. So the most challenge we have it's Paris. It's Paris. And then the next one is um uh music is not is not um uh, it's not making that much money. I would say if from the if from the same Paris issue, mm -hmm. but music is not making money. Musicians here, you see them when they say oh there's an artist, you will not even believe mm -hmm. because uh, the life standard is very very low and uh, I mean so that is how we we try to manage things and then our our people the county authority all of, um, business people and people that have the money do not really believe in supporting artists from their individual uh um, pocket to to support musicians is not it's not uh, the priority here when it comes to individual coming up to support somebody and say, oh, I will take care of you, I will manage and support you. If not seen anywhere among us here in New York. Yeah, except for those that lay before me. Okay. Yeah, so that is it for the few challenges we have. Yeah. All right, um, so uh, well, let's just close with your final words to your fans and also we know that Nima County, especially Ganta City, it has evolved over time and developed as compared to those days. What can you tell um, Nibadians out of the country in the diaspora and uh, in the diaspora and all like Canada and Australia? What can you tell them? Yeah, so um, I continue to tell the people, music shows the value of our culture. Yeah, the value of our culture is seen and shown out loudly yeah. through music. Uh, especially traditional music more than any other thing. Our young learn true music more than and let me tell you, nowadays, those those uh profane language, I mean music that those guys can produce are very heavy because the children will sing it from start to end without even stopping anywhere. That shows to you that music teaches more than any other thing. So I will tell our people to put more time into our traditional music, traditional activity here in my special traditional music, that the meaningful one, the one that is healthy for the society, for the culture, yeah. so that we will stand up more to uh, educate our people more, entertain our people more, keep reminding our people more, so that uh, the society we, we have will be so, I mean, much beautiful as we also help to disseminate the gospel through music. So that is it for them. We love them. We want to say a big thank you for those of them who have been standing by us. Um, a lot of them over there in the diaspora from Nima here who have been really standing by uh, Nima artists. One person is me. Yeah, so I want to say a big thanks to them. Let them continue to do what they have started doing. Uh, not only for some of us who are ahead of the children, yeah. but for the children even down the line as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so to my friends and fans around the world, thank you. This is Morris Nakamaki, your music king. That is a name I like in the music game. You also call me Lyrics Detector. You also call me um, uh, your music proprietor. So I'm your son. Continue following me, and I love you. Thank you for your time. All right, so um, in case people want to follow you, what's your, are you on YouTube? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. What's the name on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook? Uh, okay, so the YouTube channel is Morris Beardo. You die, Morris Beardo. The Beardo is G-B-E-A-D-E-H. I read it in small letter. So it's Morris Beardo on YouTube. And then, uh, like I have uh, close to 3,000 subscribers, and then YouTube is, is giving me little, little thing at least at the end of every month. Yeah, so thank you so much for all of all of those who have been there for us and this family. Thank you for coming and bringing your microphone to us to hear from us. 
probably there's something in the making, something behind the scene that is good <laughs> and we are waiting for. So thank you so much for your time. And then I'll send you guys a safe drive back to Monrovia. Thank you so much. And thank you for taking all the time to meet up with us and tell us about your craft and what you do. Okay. It was really nice. And I hope that we talk to Compassity and hear bigger things that you're doing. You're welcome. All right. All right, this I would like to say goodbye. And um, we're on our way now from Compassity. We have achieved um, with legendary singers and musicians here in Compassity. Um, I just had uh, Morris King. One of Liberia's finest and most um, talented for the past decades. Till next time, I'm Ellen Reeves, and I'm saying goodbye to Gompa City, but I'm not saying goodbye to you finally. Catch us on another video. Yeah, nah.